Oh, hello. Where does that line the other side go to? It don't go nowhere. It don't go nowhere. We're back. Yes, we're back. It's January, it's a cold January day. I'm here with Connor. You've not seen him for a while, but we're out on an explore again. We're gonna look at the 13 arches. This is Clifton in Swinton in Manchester. That viaduct there is what, the, what is known locally as 13 arches, and it carries a disused railway uh, across it. This is the River Irwell, the beautiful River Irwell that makes its way down through Salford and Manchester. But the plan today is to try and get up on the viaduct and take a look at the disused railway line. Now that railway line and this surrounding area has got an entire story to it. So we've got, uh, we're going to try and look for a disused station along the disused railway track and then there was a bit of a disaster further down the line. So stay tuned to the video and let's see if we can get up there and take a look. So we're here, we're underneath the viaduct now and it's quite vast and it's very, very beautiful. And what I'll do is I'll just cut away now and I'll tell you about the railway line that we're looking at. So this is where we are in Manchester. We're in the west of Manchester and to the northwest of the city centre. We're near Swinton, Presswich and sort of Clifton area. Now the line, the railway line we're looking at is the Manchester, Bury and Rossendale Railway. It was opened in 1846 and it closed in 1966. Starts down here in Eccles, again to the west of the city, and it runs northwards towards Swinton. And you'll see at Swinton there, it runs under a massive tunnel underneath the Swinton area. This map's 1914, by the way. As we go north, we uh, get towards the River Irwell, and it's this area here near the River Irwell where our viaduct is, the 30, 13 arches. And see where the arrow is? That's the area we're exploring. But the line carries on northwards, it goes northwards along the Irwell Valley a little bit and then it gets to the town of Radcliffe where it joins up with the Manchester Berry Line and heads further north then into uh, towards Rossendale. So let's crack on and explore this viaduct. So like I say it's known locally as the 13 arches and you may or may not be, hit, be able to hear the constant noise of the M60 motorway which is just over there somewhere in the valley um, this is sort of like the Irwell Valley and the motorway makes use of it and goes that way around Manchester but um, beautiful place like I say don't know how Connor's got the Connor knows how to get up here somehow I don't know how we're going to get up here so what I want to do is if we do manage to get up on top of the, the viaduct I want to go that way to go and take a look at one where one of Manchester's least known disused railway stations is now it's gone, the railway station's gone, there's nothing there, but apparently there's the odd remnant of what used to be. So if we can go that way, it might be quite good. And the station was called Molina Brow. So apparently the way to the top is up there along here, up the path at the side of the viaduct. So you can see obviously there's been some structural things going on on the uh, viaduct because there's two plates there you can just about see on the top of the viaduct that are bolting it together, uh, two big star plates. I'll just put the exposure up so maybe you can see it. Can you see the two star plates there? I've not got my zoomable camera today so uh, it's not very good. So nearly at the top, Connor reforms so that we can get up on the uh, viaduct up here. Right, so we're on top of the viaduct and we didn't know if we could get through or not, but there is a hole in the fence. So let's go take a look on top of the viaduct. So look at this here, <laughs> old sleepers that are used, sort of like have been used for the fencing. Those must be all railway sleepers, surely. Um, 
and you can see a nice view there the outside of the viaduct and we might not be so lucky here because there's a second fence ah it's open so we're on I'm presuming that this it's all fenced up because the viaduct is possibly not structurally sound and they don't want people uh, walking up here but it's such a beautiful thing you know the, it's human curiosity, isn't it, to want to come up and have a look on this thing. Um, and I can't honestly see how something that used to carry trains and locomotives suddenly now can't carry the weight of people. I don't know, but anyway, we're on it. We're going to take a look. As per usual, we're just going to take photographs and leave footprints. But remember when I came in years ago. Was it? I thought you... So you didn't come up on this bit last time you came? <clears throat> so as you can see that most of the uh, I'll turn the camera around in a minute most of the viaduct is very 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 overgrown the viaduct was constructed in 1846 to carry trains from Manchester to Rossendale along the Manchester Bury and Rossendale Railway over the Irwell Valley. Well, we've seen the River Irwell, haven't we? It's got 13 arches and after crossing the Irwell, the railway line used to lead to what was once Clifton Junction Railway Station. But I'm hoping to get to Clifton Junction Railway Station because there's something, the actual current railway station is not obviously not that interesting, but there's something around the railway station that is part of this story. And I want to try and take a look and see if I can find some clues of this line where it meets Clifton Junction. Yeah. So a bit of a clearing like you get on these places. Obviously people have had uh, fires and stuff. And I think we're possibly going to have to film this video in uh, over a couple of days because we're going to run out of light soon. We came out quite late today and it's starting just to, we're starting just to lose the light a little bit. I don't fancy walking off this viaduct in the dark, do you? <laughs> but we're trying to get to the other end of it just to see what it's like. You can see by the size of some of the trees that um, obviously it's been overgrown for a long time. I will find out when it was closed, this railway line. Well, you see, there's a fair old bit of growth on these trees here, isn't there? Birch trees. Now, is that a birch tree? Not sure. Because we know where there's birch trees, there's the uh, mushrooms, isn't there? Fly, fly agaric mushrooms that we found on the other disused railway line. If you remember that, where I did the disused railway line in Manchester, and we found that wonderful, perfect example of the mushroom, which I found out was called fly agaric. I imagine in summer, this will be completely impenetrable, this, uh, this area. Okay, so journey's end for the viaduct. Um, we could carry on down there. I don't think there's much to see. We've been on the viaduct now, we've seen what it's like. We, we, th th this video, we are gonna go further down that way. I think the line is bisected now by uh, various factories that have been just been built over it. 
So it'll just carry on being undergrowth along there and it does eventually meet up with Clifton Station, Clifton Railway Station. Now I want to, obviously I'm not going to go over this, I'm, I'm not going to go over the razor wire just to see more undergrowth. We will go down there but we're going to we're going to do it, we're going to get in the car and drive around to it. Uh, no point going down here, like I say, nothing to see. Just spotted something that we've noticed before though. Seems to be a lot on these um, disused railway lines. It's one of these burrs on the trees um, over here. And in the, in the video that I did in Manchester, I spotted this burr and I didn't know what it was. And I asked what it was and people told me some kind of illness on the tree. Look. Right, Connor, if we do anything in this video, we need to go and take a look at that. Oh, that the, the old there. Berry Bolton Canal. Is that what it is? I think so, yeah. Right, so there's a beautiful bridge there you can see just in the distance. I'll zoom in on it in a second. It's not a very good zoom on this camera, but we need to have a look at that, man. That looks absolutely gorgeous. And that is Clifton Aqueduct and we shall revisit that later in this video. So we've just walked along from the viaduct. You can see the disused railway track there. We're gonna go over uh, the motorway now, Manchester's, one of Manchester's busiest motorways, the Manchester Outer Ring Road, the M60. Um, but we're walking along here to go and find the, what might be left of, or there might not be anything left, of one of Manchester's least known disused stations, Molina Brow. I don't think there's anything left of it at all, but we'll go and take a look just over the motorway. Um, so, we've come from there. And we're going, and we're going that way there, just over the little bridge, over the motorway. Okay, I'll just show you on Google Maps where we are. There's the viaduct we've just explored over the River Irwell. Been to the far end down here, and we're going to go back over now. Uh, this is day two of filming, actually, by the way. I'll let you into that little secret. We did run out of light. So we've walked, but we walked all off the viaduct through this undergrowth here to the motorway there. All right. And we're just looking for something on the other side of the motorway in this area here. Let me just show you on another map. Down at the bottom, you see the river and where the viaduct is there. This is the 1914 map. And as we zoom in, you'll see there Molina Brow Station. Now on this 1914 map, there, are, there is no motorway. Look at that. So let's look at a side-by-side -side comparison with a modern day picture. Look at the two cursors moving simultaneously. Where the motorway is, look on the right, you'll see where the motorway is. Now look left. Molina Brow Station has been obliterated by the motorway completely. But as we get over the bridge, just into that undergrowth, those woods there, you'll see there is just a building there and the um, the railway line just carries on. So the little siding that it had is where the motorway is, but let's look for evidence just on the other side of the motorway. Let's see if there's anything left at all. So you can see this is Manchester as well, one of Manchester's busiest roads. And this motorway, cut through the sort of location of the station, Molina Brow. There might just be a clue left up here, I'm not sure. Let's go and have a look. Well, as far as I'm aware, this is it. Because if you look at the old map, side-by-side uh, -side maps, it shows the motorway cutting through almost where the station was. And this just, we're at the other side, as you can see, of the bridge there. And this was the site of the station. Um, ah, Connor's found something. Let's have a look. So we've got, we have a bit of a wall. We've got a ledge here. Some kind of wall here. Yes, definitely, uh, definitely the remnants of something, eh? Um, and it had a little side in and everything. Um, obviously, I'll, I'll either have shown you the map or I'll, I will show you the map, um, but it had a little siding and everything. And I've got a picture of it. A really bad quality, poor quality picture of Molina Brow Station. 
possibly the only one in existence apart from what somebody might have in the private collection but I'll show you the picture of Bolina Brow Station and this is of where we are now there's almost no clues of it left apart from that bit of a wall we're going to have a walk down here through the woods um, just see if there's anything at all we can find uh, I did read there was a cobble road which was the old station approach but I can't see that just yet anyway here's that picture so here it is taken in the early 1900s a little blurry black and white picture probably the only one in existence of Molina Brow Station if you look just outside the station building you'll see the figure of a man that apparently is Mr Ashworth he was the station master now the station closed in 1931 deemed unprofitable by the railway company because it only served a few local cottages in the area look at the wall did we find any remnants of the wall there's the track bed and all around in the surrounding area are clues is that the wall is that the station approach the little path that led up to the station to the platform level and buried in the undergrowth is this some kind of bunker coal bunker flower bed I really don't know a railway sleeper a fence post who can tell but underneath just buried under the surface are all these clues to the station that used to be bricks covered in moss and lichen an old fence post the ghosts of Molina Brow Station Don't go nowhere. The thing about the name as well, Mol Molina Brow, it doesn't, it's not a known name in Manchester, or I don't think. Um, you don't hear that name anymore. It's not even the name of an area. Um, when I saw the name of the station on the old maps, I was thinking, where the hell is that? Molina Brow, never heard of that before. Like I say, not even the name of a place. So the name and the station have just disappeared into history and been forgotten forever. Apart from the little bits of things we've discovered um, just in the, uh, in the woods there. The remains of a long gone station. I only found out of that. I googled why the bridges of these. Because in Manchester they have them as well, mate. Those. Ooh, ouch. So, so I don't know if you remember when we were up on the viaduct. I pointed at a second bridge uh, and I said we need to go and take a look at that well that behind me there that's Clifton Aqueduct uh, built to carry the Manchester Bolton Bury Canal over the River Irwell uh, 1796 so it was built obviously at the height of the canal building frenzy um, but a beautiful beautiful bridge actually grade 2 listed uh, we'll go up on the top and I'll show you what's up on the top because a lot of the canal now is drained and disused the Manchester Berry Bolton Canal but uh, absolutely gorgeous to be honest with you I didn't even know this was here so we're on top of the aqueduct now and this is it this is what remains of the uh, of the canal completely drained you, the, what I did note was there's two uh, there's two posts in it that'll zoom in in a, in a minute where they could put gates in to drain the aqueduct if they needed to but uh, that's it So that's it, that's this sort of area explored around the 13 arches, the Clifton Aqueduct, the Clifton Viaduct and the remains of Molina Brow Station. We're now going to go over to Clifton Station which is currently a working station on the Manchester to Bolton line. But this, the railway line that went over the, the viaduct, 
went underneath Clifton Station. So we're going to go to Clifton Station now, see if we can see evidence that, of the cutting that the railway was in. And then beyond Clifton Station, there is a tunnel. Now the tunnel has been filled in, but we're going to look for evidence of that tunnel. And I'm going to tell you about a railway disaster that happened over there. So kind of the second part of the video now. And that part two will be a different video. So stay tuned for further investigations along the old Manchester, Bury and Rossendale Railway. And in part two, ghost platforms, remnants of old tunnels and railway disasters. See you in part two.